All right, guys. So we're gonna do some account review today of uh, my girlfriend's account right here, Joy Rule. If you guys, as you guys can see on the uh, top left corner right here. Um, so, so this account has been played since I reached 5K. <laughs> if you guys remember, I think somebody in the viewers said that uh, you should make your girlfriend play, and I told her to play the account or play this game and make an account uh, when I reach 5K, and then. Uh, I made uh, my channel into 5k in like what I don't know I forgot <laughs> like it within the week of uh, our, our we, we were saying that so yeah she started playing when I hit around 5.5k I think and then yeah she's been playing like every day just logging in and stuff like that and then yeah finally we get to reveal it if you guys remember I did uh, verse this account one time on my on my free to play account, if you guys remember that one, I versed this account I visited before, and then uh, yeah, and that lost. happened. Yeah, and I lost. <laughs> I got completely owned. Uh, she is not a YouTuber. Uh, she's uh, yeah, she's not a YouTuber. She has a different uh, job. She's completely away from that category of like content creator, really. Yeah. Uh, so <clears throat> yeah, so let's just go look at it real quick, guys, uh, and see uh, what it was. Uh, how the account is because you know, she wanted me to check it out too so let's do it guys um, so right here as you can see right here uh, cookie castle level 12 um, so something funny here her kingdom level is higher than mine too <laughs> really mine's 11 oh. uh, I'm still uh, mine is actually still 11 yeah uh-huh uh-huh um, so her her cookie castle is higher than mine yeah mm -hmm. Uh, I I focus more. I I mean, I've been hoarding a lot of stuff. So, yeah. Uh, so she she surpassed me uh, in that <laughs> part. And then uh, let's see. She has a lot of wow. You built these too. Uh, yeah, my little brother told me too. These are the ones that give you Aurora materials, guys. If you guys didn't know, uh, this little box right here, this. Uh, light purple box is the one that gives you aurora materials and if you build these two uh, the pure vanilla and then the uh, what raspberry one these are the ones that um, give you aurora material every uh, single out or like day every single day but um, like you know if you upgrade it it's gonna be 20 hours and so on so yeah so she has that, um, let's see, she has a lion statue, only level 3, so I would say, obviously, upgrade those things. Zipline, I don't even have Zipline, I don't really care about Zipline, uh, for now, it's just, it was just a lot of coin and stuff, so I didn't build it. Um, but here we go. So as you can see, a lot of the landmarks are a lot lower than, uh, a lot lower than mine, yeah. I don't so, really level them up. Yeah, so she doesn't level them up, but, wow. Can you guys see this? She is expanding still. <laughs> three to she's expanding three uh, more areas, and then there's this one that she needs to do. Oh yeah. Um. So yeah, let's see this. So I believe. Wow. Okay. Mm, uh, this is what I like to uh, go after. <laughs> you know. Look at this. Mansion is only level five and six. And six. And, and eight. one eight. That is uh no good, right? No good. This should at least be all nine by now, because at kingdom level eleven or kingdom castle level eleven, you're able to uh, get your cookie houses and mansions all the way up to level nine, and then at le level twelve is when you can make them into level ten. And um, you know, you need this is probably one of the the fastest and the most constant way for you to get exp star jellies. So that's uh, probably why uh, she is a little low and lacking on the <laughs> yes, we saw jellies, okay? Because if you guys didn't know, uh, she actually unlocked uh, Sea Fairy today. So she unlocked it finally through uh, the Rainbow Shell Gallery. So all of you guys who are wondering how you can unlock Sea Fairy for free, if you guys remember one of my uh, videos on how to unlock Ancients and Legendaries for free, uh, she actually used that method uh, through the uh, Rainbow Shell Gallery and finally got the last Soul Stone to it unlock. It forever. Yeah, it does take forever. Yeah, I do agree with that. So she finally unlocked Sea Fairy, but the thing is, because she is lacking on the XP Star Jelly, she could only make her into a level 40 right now. Okay, so, 
But the thing is, you guys gotta realize she's been playing for what? Like, two to three months almost, I think? And then she finally unlocked it. So she hasn't pulled uh, Sea Fairy. She pulled Pure Vanilla this week. Okay, so she pulls Pure Vanilla this week. Hollowberry, she pulled it during, during, the, e during the event. Mm -hmm. Yeah, during the, uh, during the uh, whatchamacallit, the Nether Gacha mm -hmm. event. Alright, so there was that. Um, and yes, yeah, so so she spent a lot of uh, mileage points upgrading too, or unlocking um, cookies. So I believe she said she bought sorbet. Yes. She bought herb. Uh, herb. So she bought herb. Where is herb? Oh yeah, the autumn herb. I, I can never almond. find this thing. And then she bought almond. Yeah. So she's been she bought some right. So she's yeah she's pretty lucky uh, with her rolls, but I mean. As you can see, she has a lot of uh, cookies missing too, right here. She has what, like nine, nine epics that are uh, missing still. And then the treasures, as you can see, she is lacking a lot on the treasures, right? Mm -hmm. Level two only on the scroll, level three only on the feather, a slingshot is only level five, and uh, you know, the uh, the charm is only level six, jelly watch is not max, and uh, horn is not max. So these are that. These are the types of things that I would be watching out for, right? Especially uh, because I will I will show you guys later, but she's pretty far into the story mode too. Okay, so uh, it's it's uh yeah it's important to get some treasure uh, levels, guys. So that's why the mileage point, as you guys can't see it right now, but our the mileage point is two thousand five hundred and eleven. Okay, so yeah, I mean treasure here is important. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's go to the storage, right? Uh, yeah, we'll go to the team in a little bit, right? But as you can see, um, I mean, all the other stuff like powders, it's okay. Uh, the yeah, the powder stacking is okay. I mean, especially because it's free to play, it's a lot harder uh, for players who are free to play uh, to you know stack up on these powders, especially if you are constantly unlocking cookies, getting new ones, and things like that. So uh, you know. It's important to save up and you can see the aurora materials are a lot lower too right because of the fact that it's I'm it's expanding. a yeah it's expansion expansion costs a lot right expansion does it starts taking like two the, three the one that i'm doing right now it took like 20. so it took 20 right it took 20 to uh expand the land so it's it's a lot right uh, and then yeah, I mean, let's go look at it. Um, she she has a lot of storage right now because a lot of her normal like regular uh, Basic materials right are pretty low are pretty low. So uh, Let's go into it and see uh, real quick. Okay, so um, The flower not bad flowers are not bad um, the Jelly berry is not bad either. Okay. Uh, let's see the milk obviously milk is a lot harder to get okay um, especially when you're so something that I always tell you guys to do especially if you guys are gonna be staying on the game for a while right it's it's better uh, to use this uh, the lower ones and then make it so that you get more uh, production rolling through in order to um, stack up on them especially when you're s like sleeping or you have uh, work to do and stuff like that then you can obviously uh, do the do the other ones the higher ones, but it's important to use the lower ones first and then um, Yeah, I mean ca candy wool is very low um, Let's see. Yeah, some of these materials right now. I'm stacking up on these right now, but yeah, you probably need to uh, Yeah, I'm uh, low on the enchanted one because yeah. the expansion again. These are oh, yeah, so she's uh, using all of these for expansion too, so as you can see, uh, she's invested a lot into uh, expansion, all right? So, uh, and then uh, the jams are a little low too right now. Uh, I mean, carpentry is okay. Carpentry ones are okay. Um, let's see. The bakery. Bakery. Oh, yeah. We need to upgrade this. No, the other one is. Oh, you have another one? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you need to make some. You're making some right now. Mm -hmm. Because what the uh, harder part is when you have the Castella is... You have to be able to uh, make it in order to. Uh, you need to make it in order to use uh, produce the rings, right, for the jewelry. That's why I was slack or not slacking off. I was holding back on upgrading. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, and then yeah, I mean like the diner. 
Oh, that's pretty good. I mean, having 15 uh, Omerice as well as the pasta is pretty good. Uh, workshop, workshop is not bad either. Uh, you have the uh, bowl open as well. I actually don't have this one open either right now. So, and the flower shop. Flower shop, just decent. And you have all the way up to the lolly uh, pop flower basket. So, yeah. All right. And then, oh, wow, you don't have the butter. I'm holding back on upgrading all the production. Okay, and then uh, the boba is not unlocked. Okay, uh, you have the jelly toy though. Okay, all right. And then the jewelry, uh, the ring, glazed ring. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah. So, as you can see, the importance, uh, the what were the the thing that you guys have to do, especially if you guys are free to play, and this goes for everybody else too. Uh, you need to be able to constantly produce and get the uh you know get the materials that you need all right so let's go check the lavatory um the craftsmanship is not maxed out that should be probably maxed out right now okay and then uh smithy would be something that i would do okay and then cookie house is uh something that i would always max out right okay and then um right here the flour is more important than the sugar Okay, so that's the thing and then as you can see the level of the lavatory is really really low compared to uh, the castle level castle level is 12 right now but the lavatory level is only four okay so uh, yeah like we don't have any of these stuff right here so then cookies cookies are yeah right here not even topping ones are out okay um, and then we have the tastier star jelly, that's important. And then rest of them are very, very just uh, neglected. Yes. Yeah, so uh, not very good right there. Um, and yeah, I mean, overall kingdom uh, wise, it's not bad, right? It's not bad, but it can be better, especially this right here. This one right here. All right, and yeah, so uh, that's the overall kingdom kind of thing, right? And then let's go into uh, her maybe like uh, let's see let's let's go to the uh, tropical island first. Oh no! And you can see she has three islands to still um, I can't beat it. complete. So she's saying that she can't beat it. Um, yeah, it gets harder. It, it does get harder uh, for sure. Probably take this out, put this in, and yeah. And you probably could beat this. No. Nah, it's these guys. So something like this, like the thing is, right? Um, when you guys are playing this game, uh, the harbor or the a uh, tropical soda island gets really, really hard. Okay, so you guys gotta, um, like you gotta realize that you you are gonna get stuck. Um, but I believe that even if you lose, you start over at the place that you, uh, you died on, I think. I've, I've never, uh, <laughs> I've never lost in the tropical, uh, Soto no, Island. You start from the beginning. Okay, so I guess you start from the beginning. So, um, yeah, I, I've never, I never, uh, remember. Or maybe you do start. So do you start, yeah, you do, right? Yeah, you start from where you, uh, where you die, right? Mm. Yeah, so... I would say even if you die, um, they do automatically get, uh, you know, out of the uh, sunbed. So just continue it, right? Just do your best to uh, not neglect the islands that you need to clear. Uh, it's hard. Like these slugs, right? These slugs are, do so much damage. The uh, bee holder, right? The be uh, blueberry bee holders, uh, they, they hurt too. Uh, especially if you guys, uh, yeah, if you guys are lower level, right? So... Yeah, I would say, you know, don't neglect these. Yeah, it, it's hard. It's hard. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, like I said, always the Tropical Solar Island is a very, very good uh, way to earn passive income, right? Of crystals as well as XP star jellies, coins, etc. Right. So uh, don't forget to do that, guys. All right. And then let's go into, um, let's see. Let's do the guild, bot, uh, guild real quick. As you can see, Japanese guild, we have 30 members. Uh, I have no idea how to read that, uh, okay? Um, That's the team I use. But top 2%. <laughs> see, I wish it was this easy in a pure vanilla server to get to top 2%, <gasps> right? Oh, I didn't even know I was top 2%. Yeah, top 2% gives you 4,000 every week. So, 
if you have one percent, it's five thousand, right? I think my guild right now for pure vanilla is at top two percent, right? So uh, it's uh, yeah, it's important. This team actually works, guys. But um, right now, what I would say is upgrade this right here, replace it uh, with. Hollowberry and it will be better and also you don't need the feather you need the slingshot So this is how it should be right now. Uh-huh So this team can work because pure vanilla will actually uh, save a couple of them from dying Right, so that's how we are supposed to do it. Uh, and let's go into arena real quick It's arena crystal 2. I believe she said she reached master last season master 5 yeah, so she she reached Master Fight right before uh, the the season ended, and as you can see, this is the team. Um, obviously, this needs to be replaced by this, uh, and this should be replaced by uh, by Pumpkin Pie, right? This is gonna be a very standard team nowadays, okay? Uh, because Pumpkin Pie is just so strong in the arena right now, uh, so I would say this is gonna be the better team, and then probably replace this with the uh, Feather. Yeah, so this is kind of like a team that would be standard uh, right now in the meta at least. Okay, and then uh, yeah, I mean this team is okay. Like Vampire, you guys gotta realize Vampire is really really strong in the lower ranks, especially uh, in Hollowbase server right now. A lot of people still don't really know about toppings. Okay, so when it comes to toppings and not having damage resist. Okay, um, Vampire is still able to just go and, uh, you know, one-shot everybody, right? So, Vampire works, but later on it will just uh, not work out. So, this team is just going to be a lot stronger. So, let's see the toppings. I mean, she, she asked me all these questions about toppings too. So, uh, I mean, her toppings shouldn't be too bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, but uh, here you go. You guys can see uh, the toppings. I'm actually going to move. Okay, so... Uh, five solid almond uh, definitely can be better uh, with the damage resist, but crit resist dang 10.3% That's actually insane. Oh my goodness. So yeah, um, damage resist can be better I kind of uh, messed around with this a little bit uh, today But uh, I mean you have one that has 4.5 one that has 1.3 and that's it. So right now this one is going to be um Right now, 31.3% damage resist um, can be definitely lower. As you can see, her toppings are pretty low right now. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, the crit resist is insane. If I could have this amount of crit, crit resist, right, uh, and it'll be insane, right? So, uh, we'll just have to see how it is, okay? And uh, Sorbet has five solid almond. I mean, not solid almond, searing raspberry. Five searing raspberry, zero cooldown, 2% uh, of damage resist, uh, only focusing on pure attack, right? Pure attack. So, eh, definitely can work on that. Uh, cooldown needs to be really, really high. Okay. Uh, not actually, not really, really high, but at least 8.3% uh, is what we usually do uh, in the higher ranks. Okay, but I mean, it's not a bad thing. Right. And then we got uh, Sea Fairy. She just unlocked her today. Okay, so she's been uh, kind of, uh, kind of, yeah, working on the toppings for her. Okay, and then she's she's. I mean, it's not bad. Thirteen point four percent damage resist is not bad at all. Okay, um, and you know, uh, she's still upgrading some of these toppings. So just, uh, yeah, let's see. And then we got pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie needs more toppings too. Uh, don't have any of these, so I would take it out, out of herb. And then, oh wow, this herb topping could go on hollowberry. And then you can uh, put one of hollowberry's uh, topping on pumpkin pie. And then pure vanilla right here, 11.6%, 25.8%, not bad at all, right? Uh, this is uh, really, really good too. Okay, so I would say, yeah, it's, I mean, the pure vanilla toppings are not bad at all, so. Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, I mean, overall, I don't think uh, this team should lose to anybody, really. Let's see. I'm and then this is like kind of like the team that I would use. Uh, obviously, we don't have everything maxed out, but uh, we can we can try it out here. Oh, actually, this is way too high. Okay, you can reverse this one. So, let's see how it goes. Yeah. Wow. See, see the damage on the Sea Fairy. 
It's actually crazy. The, having the damage resist and not having a damage resist, it makes a lot of difference, guys. But Sea Fairy is gonna stay alive. Oh, come back alive. And nice. <laughs> there you go. So, uh, I mean, the feather makes a lot of difference, right? Uh, feather does. Okay, and then uh, Sea Fairy coming back with the feather, right? Uh, definitely helps out. So this is the kind of team I will be using. And then for story mode, so this is actually where she is. As you can see, she actually came really, really far. 11.3 or 11-3. That's actually really far. And she's done it with uh, this kind of these kind of uh, cookies right here. Not super, super crazy. Uh, but yeah, she's she's got all the way up to 11-3. She was stuck here and then I, I kind of beat it uh, today for her. But yeah, I mean, she didn't have much hard time. I mean, she did have a little bit of hard time at 9-something uh, in the beginning. But she's cleared it uh, throughout. Like, yeah, just a little bit. After I got Sorbet. Yeah, after she got Sorbet, she kind of uh, was able to, yeah, kind of push through it. And then I, I mean... Episode 10, she's all the way uh, through, too. And then we're at episode 11. 11 gets a little bit hard now. So because of the fact that they nerf the stages after the new episodes come out, uh, the without the nerf, it's a little bit harder uh, for the newer, newer players right now. So, yeah. Uh, but... Pure Vanilla is not supposed to do any damage. There's no damage going out from Pure Vanilla. Pure Vanilla has pure healing. Okay, auto attack is all heal. Supports, on the other hand, is going to use uh, auto attack as a damage. And then we'll use heal through their skills. Pure Vanilla, Herb, Custard, uh, Sparkling, Angel. They're always just going to be healing. Healing, healing. No damage. Zero damage. Yeah. They don't, they don't do damage at all. There's no auto attack going out. Auto attack is going to be heal. Boom, boom. All right. Yeah. So this is her account right here, guys. This is uh, this is Joy's account. Um. So I mean, yeah. I mean, she still she still has to keep going. Uh, toppings are very uh, hard for her right now. So, all right. So yeah. I mean, overall, guys. Um, not a bad account, right? Um, definitely there are things that you can fix and uh, play uh, more of, uh, especially the other one stuff. So when did you introduce her in playing Cooking on Kingdom? So it was my 5K. So when I reached 5K subscribers, 5,000 subscribers is when I told her, hey, you should play the game when I reach 5,000 subscribers. And within that week of uh, us saying, yeah, or she was like, oh, maybe, okay. Um, she said, you know, maybe and then i reached 5k and then that's when she started playing the game and she's been playing yeah ever since for so it's been about what a couple months now i think or two two months two to three months or something like that or how long has it been hollyberry since uh since hollyberry came out she started playing uh since like about the time hollyberry came out so mm -hmm. yeah i mean it's been a while it's been a while that since she started playing uh and yeah she takes she does a lot of or she spends a lot of time decorating as you can see yeah she spends hours uh <laughs> yeah decorating it's crazy i i would never be able to uh well how about costumes what costumes do you have you have nothing i do all the common ones yeah boring common <sighs> ones <laughs> but You're yeah cool. i mean should we do a gotcha should we, should we do some gotcha here, guys? Do the ritual. Ritual? <laughs> you can use my mileage. Let's let's do some let's do some gotcha. Let's do the uh, regular cookie cutters. All right, so um, let's see. I'm gonna buy some treasures here. I'm gonna do fifteen, cause uh. Because we're not able to do a lot on this account. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to do some 15 treasures. And then we're going to do some uh, temples here. Alright, so here we go. There's a jelly watch. A lot of jelly watches coming out. Alright, and then boom. Uh-oh. No. Ah, 
of course. Um, let's see. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, that's that's how it goes, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, overall, uh, we'll we'll do a little bit more, uh, or we'll come back to this account next time too. Uh, we got twenty, All right? So let's let's see. Doo -doo -doo. Oh. Yeah, I mean, there you go, guys. Uh, first account review of my uh, girlfriend's account, right? Uh, but yeah, she she she's been uh, enjoying the game. She's been playing a lot more. Uh, I was addicted when yeah. I got started. When she started, she played a lot, like a crazy <laughs> a lot. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, uh, she's she's slowly uh, getting to a point where it's getting a little hard now. Mm -hmm. So obviously. Um, you need a little bit more, uh, man. We are we are waiting for the next update to happen. I don't know when it's gonna happen, but yeah, um, there you go, guys. Pretty solid account. Yeah, not gonna lie. Uh, overall, uh, for a free to play, definitely uh, a very good account. Okay, um, and yeah, uh, yeah. That's that's what we we'll ended at uh, for this account review of uh, of Joy's account. Yeah.